Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If uh, you have a GM vehicle, vehicle made by General Motors such as guys Chevy, uh, Buick, GMC, Cadillac guys and and you're wondering how to know which TPMS sensor is bad on your car guys stay with us guys we'll explain that we'll explain what we use and all that stuff now sometimes you get a message that the front left tire is flat which means that uh, either the tire is flat or the TPMS sensor is not working and there is no communication with it guys but actually instead of being the front left it could be the rear right guys and the computer will not know that and we'll explain why this could happen guys when you have your tires rotated people will not rewarm the sensors and as a result guys what will happen okay it may tell you it's on the front left side and you're going to replace that sensor with a new one and you find out that this wasn't the case guys and you don't want to waste your money and your work so stay with us and we'll explain what we use for that purpose uh, how we're going to find out which one is uh, bad hypothetical situation here guys so quick introduction we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop why because our mission guys is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully you will find the information helpful and if you need any tools or parts check out the link in the description of the video below and see where we get everything for our vehicles so let's start on it now so now I'm, i want to show you something guys inside but let me let me start with uh, with what we'll be using here that's the scanner guys that we'll be using and hypothetically now guys okay let's say okay let's say that we have a bad sensor tpms sensor on the front left side and we're going to explain how we're going to find out that this is actually the bad sensor now so what do we need to do we need to go ahead guys and connect our scanner okay super easy right here just go ahead plug it in perfect now let me show you what we're going to do here guys if you're on the market for a good quality scanner guys this is definitely the one that you should consider uh, we'll have the link in the description of the video below this scanner guys it works on any car not just general motors uh, vehicles guys and it's like dealer level equipment without the programming so pretty much amazing too what i'll do i'll turn the ignition on without starting the car now i want to show you something first guys okay you can see now that it says right rear tire 29 okay imagine now guys okay so we can prove you how to do that that this sensor is out okay it doesn't show anything guys it's out and we think it's the rear right side so we're going to explain what needs to be done okay to find out if this is the correct one so quick let me show you what makes okay that computer supports it even supports bugattis guys bentley so quite a few cars and you can even click here and select only usa european cars okay asian cars so that way you have less selection if on, under usa we're going to select general motors now it's going to load the next menu which will ask us if we want to manually or automatically select the vehicle automatically it uh, actually um, decodes the vin number and it does everything on its own but i want to show you okay you can see you can work on buick cadillac chevy uh, uh, gmc Dell, and holden as well guys so we select cruise our model now it may ask you which engine you have this is our engine and it's uh, it's communicating now so i'll show you okay what we're doing after that now it may ask you a few other questions as well and usually guys you go to diagnostics control unit and check out all the different uh, computers in this car it's guys amazing how many computers you have right the one that we need to go to is body control module you can guys uh, read the codes if you have a code it's going to tell you tell you that you have a bad tpms sensor here in our case we have a sensor for a brake paddle position sensor let me actually reset this one quick okay and but it may not give you the correct uh, side guys let's say we think it's front left but the car is sending telling that it's rear right how we can confirm that now so we go to tire pressure monitoring system here guys okay but first let's get here now check out what we have now here guys you can see the signal of the sensor that they sent this is how strong the battery is this is guys uh, how uh, how it communicates with the computer that it sends the data for the pressure now which uh, let's say the uh, the car says that we have problem on the rear right side and it's at zero here percent that means that either the battery is dead or the sensor is broken dead guys uh, but we think it's the front left how we're going to confirm that we're going to go to tire pressure monitor system guys now 
Okay, right here. And we need to select, okay, left front tire pressure. Check it out now. Left front, it says 228 kPa. That's kilo pascals. You can, guys, change the unit to PSI if you want to. 228 PA. Well, and now we need to go to the right rear tire. Check all each one of them, guys. And right rear tire, it says 201. Okay, 201. So, how we're going to confirm that now? Let me explain that quick, guys. Pretty simple. Now, we're going to actually... Okay, it says that the right rear is 201. And let's say that this is the wrong one. And it says... We're going to check each one of them, but all the other ones are around 231, 217, 228. So I have a little bit of a different pressure in each one of them, so I can detect uh, which one is the wrong one. So, if I actually go ahead, guys, okay, and measure now, let me show you what we're going to get here. This is, okay, if you had your car at the shop where they rotated the tire and didn't rewarm the sensor it may think it's the rear right side but it actually is the front left or the other way around it could be on the front right and if i check the pressure we are right at uh, okay uh, right at 200 kilopascals guys kpa 200 right on the spot if i go to the rear right tire now guys okay the rear right is on this side I'm going to measure here what we have now. Okay, check it out now. Rear right. Okay, this is about 230 almost. 228, 9, something like that. So, what I'm going to do now, guys. Okay, something, something to confirm that this is not the sensor. Okay, rear right side. Check it out now, rear right, it says that the tire pressure is 201, 201, remember, the front left says, left front, okay, let me see, 221, uh, 228, 201 and 228. What I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to deflate this tire to about 210 and see if something will move on the screen there so just a little bit more 210 9 10 guys so if i go inside now okay let me show you what is happening here okay here guys on the screen remember rear right tire was 201 it says 201, still, nothing changed. But if I go to the front left tire now, guys. Okay, left front tire pressure, 206. It just dropped, guys. And I said about 208, so my gauge is just a little bit off. So, that means, guys, that instead of thinking that it's the rear right tire, guys. Okay, we have a problem with the front left sensor. So... And that's how you guys find out okay which one is the correct one if it says rear right deflate that tire and see if something changes if it doesn't change guys keep deflating each one of the tires at the time and check the screen again and see until okay something changes and you can figure out which tire is where because you may think you have front left but it's actually rear left and by deflating each one of the tires you can make a diagram and say okay this tire is on this side this is on this so you will know which sensor to uh, to check guys so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time